Welcome to the Dakota Riverbend Install Guide. DRB is a fun community-based server over on the Red M platform by a small dev team of community members and hosted by Austin BMX. Check out their website at drb.gg for more information or to support the dev team. DRB is also a relaxed roleplay server with a lot of unique modded content that will not only immerse you into the world, but not found in the base game either. Interactions, gameplay, unique player encounters, companions, and so much more can be found right here. DRB is also getting regularly updated by this dev team, and if interested in joining the team to help build a new experience to Red Dead Online, please get a hold of their team in their Discord. There's a lot of fun to be had, and as long as you own a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online Standalone and join their Discord server, it's completely free to join. Let's install this together, and I'll show you how easy it is, shall we? Alright, and we're going to want to start our process here at the desktop. You're going to want to open up the application that you purchased a Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC and leave it open in the background. This will be for a process later down the line. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go to drb.gg in our web browser, and upon entering the team's web page, you're gonna notice two buttons that'll get you access into the Dakota Riverbend. First thing you're gonna wanna do is download Red M, and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is join their Discord. Let's start by downloading Red M. Let's click our downloads folder and save. And as you can see in the top corner, Red M is downloaded. Let's go over to our file explorer and under downloads, you're going to see Red M.exe. If you don't see .exe, don't worry, folks. That just means you have extensions non viewable in your file explorer. Let's click Red M. We'll minimize a few things and as you can see the red m desktop shortcut has been created and the installer is downloading a few things before installing after this it's going to ask you to select the folder where red dead redemption 2 is downloaded so on this computer i'm going to go over to local disk program files Epic Games Red Dead Redemption 2. Now this may be different if you bought it on a different platform folks. Select folder and as you can see Red M is verifying the game's content making sure the game is actually in this folder that you have selected folks. And as you can see here, Red M is telling us that we need a 0.0, .0 megabyte update to uh, actually get into this. So let's click yes on this pop-up. And as you can see, Red M is going to start to download. Folks, this is torrent based and uh, you will not get it to download any quicker. This is going to be a long, lengthy download. Uh, if it gets stuck on a percentage as well, do not worry about it or close this application. It will get hung up. Like I said, this will be a lengthy download, folks. So with that, I'll see you in just a moment. Alrighty, and after a lengthy download, folks, if you get an error code like this at the end of it, it just means that you haven't actually launched Red Dead Redemption 2 on your computer before. There's still two more things we want to do, though, folks. Let's open up the platform that we actually purchased Red Dead Redemption 2 on. And if you remember back on the website at the beginning of the guide, there was the join their Discord option. Let's click this button and join into their Discord. And upon joining into their Discord, you will be prompted with these sections here, rules, uh, server rules, guidelines, so on and so forth. And upon accepting everything that you need to in here, you'll then be prompted with the Valentine Hotel. And as you can see, a multitude of people have already joined into the DRP. Let's minimize this, though. Just like the game launcher, we want the game launcher that you purchased on and Discord open in the background. Let's click the Red M shortcut, folks. We are then prompted with the Rockstar launcher after this. Let's click yes. And then Red M is going to be looking for the platform that you actually purchased Red Dead Redemption 2 on. 
and then after this you have made it into the red m platform it's going to look a little di bit different for you folks especially since you're probably going to have to create an account or if you already have an account sign into it as you can see i'm already signed in in the top right hand corner here then you're going to want to click play you're probably not going to have a server on here and what you're going to want to do is type in the search bar Dakota River Bend. And as you can see in the bottom here, there are a multitude of RP and other servers for you to play on here on Red M. The Dakota River Bend is not the only one. Let's type in Dakota. And as you can see, without even finishing, it, it pops up right here. Here's a little bit of info about this and whatnot, but let's connect to it. Now this is the process and the part that you're going to want to have Discord open. If you don't have Discord open, folks, it will not let you into the server. You have to be connected to the Dakota Riverbend Discord upon entering Red M. We then get prompted with the Dakota Riverbend loading screen. And then you have entered the Dakota River Bend, folks. This is the character creation spot. As you can see, I have one character created here already, but there are four character slots that you can create it, and you have made it. Like I said, this first window is probably going to be a little bit different for you, especially if you go to create a character, but you have made it into the Dakota River Bend if you have made it this far in the tutorial, folks. I hope this was helpful to absolutely anybody and everybody that's interested in joining on in the Dakota Riverbend. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, information guides, fun role-playing endeavors, so on and so forth.